supposed to work like this. Ah. Hello and good morning. Welcome to your Daily Vlogs Nation. My name is Cody, also known as Just Two Eyes, and that's Graham. Today, we're going to talk about the RoboCop movie remake. Yeah, they're bringing it back with a whole new look, style, and everything else. And already, I don't like it. Let's talk about this trailer. Get this out the way quick, fast, and in a hurry. From the way it looks, it's going to be for new generation, a new, softer, more compact, fluffy generation. Not like the way I grew up when it changed my life and ruined me for the rest of my life. It'll mess you up. And this RoboCop remake is Alex Murphy. He's a good cop. He gets into a little thing and then he becomes RoboCop. And what's the little thing? A car bomb. Yeah, a car bomb. We'll get into that later. And of course they hook him up with this android type body. He's a cyborg man. And you know he has to learn to become a cop as a robot. RoboCop. You get where this is going. That's just about the gist of the trailer. Now let me tell you why I don't like it. Why is his armor black? Really? Really? One of the biggest things about RoboCop, and you just change it. Just, we don't feel like it should be silver and black anymore, which was a good look in the first place. We're going to make it all black with a red visor. Why? Because it's new, it's hip, it's edgy, it looks slick and sexy, because that's how we want it to be. Now in the trailer, he is wearing his regular armor and then his black armor. The way I think it is when he first becomes RoboCop, he's wearing the silver and black as he's going through the RoboCop training to get used to the body and everything. And then once they put him out on the street, they dress him in black. That's the way I think it's going to go. But let's talk about my favorite thing about RoboCop, the gun. Why do I love the gun so much? Because the back piece was a pistol back piece and the front piece was an SMG barrel. And every time he shot it, it burst fire at least about five or six shots. No, brr, brr. It was beautiful. It was great. It was an ingenious idea. This new gun looks like SMG all the way. The main thing that I loved about it was the holster. Like, the how his leg popped open and the gun came out. That was great. That was ingenious. And you want to know why? Because it was an actual prop that they actually made for the movie. And this new one... It's CG. Yes, you can tell it was a prop, you can tell it was fake, but it was something that they made, something that was real, something that actually gave a lot to the movie. And instead of you hearing some guy off to the side saying, okay, your gun is popped out, reach for it. In the suit, he could, you could see it. He just reached, that was it. That was it. It was actually something that was there. Like older movies instead of new movies. Because instead of pretending that you see this in front of you, it's actually there. They actually went through the work to make it. What happened to good old-fashioned hard-working movies? You can tell in the trailer that it's going to be trained sight. He's going to be walking like this. You know, eye down the barrel. No. That's not how it's supposed to be. You don't need to do this because your body is set up to auto-aim. So they took that out. And they took out, you know, the heavy RoboCop suit walk that made him robot-like, which really sold the character. Now he's going to be all slick and android. They should name him Cyberman. A cyborg man or something. He's going to have his stiff moments. But it's not going to be, this suit is too heavy. I need a break. Let's talk about the biggest thing in the trailer. To me, I count RoboCop as a superhero. Well, hero. Not, you know, whatever. Why? Because he has a good origin story. His origin story is that Red Former from that 70s show got his game together, got Alex Murphy into a corner, beat and murdered him. Ripped off his limbs and the whole nine, he died, came back as RoboCop. And that really built into his character, built into his psyche. And when he saw Red later, it was like, you killed me, didn't you? Robot gone crazy. And that cannot happen from a car bomb explosion. Whether it was, I'm pretty sure it was on purpose, it can't happen. You can't have flashbacks and have some seriously messed up things going on throughout the movie that'll build you as a character from a car bomb. No. I mean, one thing that you should never ever do when you're remaking a story of a hero or in anything, don't change the origin. Don't. That's stupid. That's how a lot of mistakes happen. It's like saying Spider-Man got bit by an ant. Ants can climb walls. Ants have ten times their strength. No real big difference, right? So let's make it an ant instead of a spider. No, you don't do that. You don't change the origin story. Period. But I'm sure this movie would be great for the newer, younger generation who can't handle 
the graphic, gory scene of seeing a man torn apart limb from limb. It'll change you. And it'll teach you that the world is not a safe place. Because it's really not. But, that'll be that. So if you like what I'm doing, you want to see what else I'm doing, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what's on your mind, alright? Always interested to know. So, yeah.